Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the People's Champion, your host, the Hut, and please subscribe to the Baseball Hut if you haven't already, and like the video, I do regular videos, we try to get some more content out there now that the, uh, that the baseball season is, is officially over, fortunately we saw the Braves win World Series, but it also tells you about their culture of winning, so the Mets have to do a better job of getting uh, some leadership in here, and get serious about winning. Otherwise, they're going to keep spinning their wheels. Uh, so a player that is going to be available, what I would assume, in the offseason. Because he's got one year left on his contract. And as the third baseman for the Cleveland Indians. Now, I put a disclaimer on this particular video. Because I'm very distrustful of any trade that the Indians may want to uh, uh, do. Because the Mets have had a lousy history. Uh, with the Cleveland Indians in terms of picking up players. And that includes Carlos Beltran, Roberto Alomar, and to a lesser degree, uh, Francisco Lindor. So keep that in mind. So from that point of view, I would assume, and because the Mets need a third baseman, the Mets need to uh, think about long and hard if they want to make this kind of a move uh, because this will cost them interesting players. Now he is on the last year of a contract. Is he going to bring in big talent? Uh, I highly doubt it. But they're going to ask Cleveland and the general manager, Mike Chernoff, is going to ask for Brett Beatty and possibly Francisco Alvarez. Are either one of them worth bringing in uh, Jose Ramirez? Now, in 2019-2020, Ramirez finished second in the American League in MVP voting. So he's a near-MVP award-winning player. He also drove in 100 runs this year uh, in a season when the baseball was basically dejuiced. So he actually had a very good year. He's a switch hitter, third baseman. Is it worth giving one of those guys up? I highly doubt it with him on a walk here. Also, we want to be able, if the Mets were to bring him in here, uh, the Mets cannot sign him to a long-term contract prior to the season. The Mets cannot do that. So guys that, that I'm not proposing trade in this video. I haven't thought about it. But he will be a guy that will be sought after this in this offseason. And you cannot give up much for him. The Indians are not going to resign him. And the Indians, boy, <laughs> they're gonna, they changed their name to the Guardians. But there's some issue there with the Guardians. And we won't get into that in the video. They might not be called the Guardians if uh, they roll a, a derby team as their way. But uh, besides that, Ramirez will be traded. Uh, it's basically what the teams are going to want to give up. You don't want to give up big prospects for him because you're going to have to sign him. And there's no like, and the Mets, the Mets can't get into this situation again of signing him. Plus, they have Beatty, and Beatty is considered untouchable by people like uh, Jim Duquette, who's a former general manager of the Mets and a guy on SNY. He's got a big presence with the media. He says that Beatty is considered a big prospect, and you can't, like, just move him. So he's untouchable. Is Mark Vientos untouchable? Maybe. Uh, I would be more inclined to move Major League Talent for Jose Ramirez. I would be, I would think long and hard to trade Jeff McNeil for Jose Ramirez. That's my own feeling. And just give Ramirez one year to see if he could play here. The thing about McNeil is he doesn't really have a position now. I don't think he could play second base. And with the Robinson Cano, don't you know, coming back, uh, he might not have a position at second with uh, him coming back. So, But we'll get into more with Ramirez over the next few months. There was a trade today, uh, believe it or not. The Cincinnati Reds traded Tucker Bernhardt. Bernhardt. To the uh, Detroit Tigers. So the Tigers, I guess, are basically telling everybody that they're back in business as a team. When well, they have a good manager and now they've made a trade for a very good catcher. So they, they're beginning the process. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. And I'll see you later.